in the rural areas of Ethiopia, an exciting new citizen participation and feedback process is gaining attention and wielding impressive results. In less than two years, primary health care units have more skilled staff and ambulances that are stationed closer to the communities. District assemblies are providing focused and timely support to health centers. And most notably, citizens and communities are joining the Ministry of Health as co-partners to improve the quality and accessibility of health services as never before. In support of the Ministry of Health's commitment to social accountability, and as part of successful implementation of the Health Sector Transformation Plan, a new citizen feedback process and tool called the Community Scorecard has been developed. Best practices include fully institutionalize the Community Scorecard into routine government systems. In Ethiopia, this has been done by incorporating the scorecard into the official Joint Supervisory Visit Checklist which is used during semi-annual Ministry of Health support visits to facilities. The CSC is also a standing agenda item for routine quarterly performance review meetings that are organized by the zones with the districts. And the CSC scores are one of the official key performance indicators, or KPIs, in the government's health sector performance monitoring system. Another best practice is to ensure the CSC tool remains measurable and comparable. Also, keep costs low and utilize domestic resources to the extent possible. Encourage regional tailoring of the national guidelines to build regional ownership, take into account regional context and capacity, and to translate into local language. Ensure the CSC process is genuinely citizen or community-led and that citizens providing feedback represent the diversity of the community. In Amhara region, this has translated into no staff or volunteer cadre of Ministry of Health workers being present during the community feedback meetings and scoring. Another best practice is to consistently hold feedback and scoring meetings to keep the momentum going. Don't skip a quarterly meeting. Another best practice is to update the action plans at the health centers within no more than a week after each round of citizen feedback. And to quickly implement as many agreed actions as possible. According to zonal officials, for at least 80% of the issues raised by the community, the health centers have had the capacity and the authority to implement the required actions without help from higher Ministry of Health levels. One additional consideration is to offer no or low cost incentives to motivate health workers and promote community contributions. These incentives can include health worker recognition during routine staff meetings, certificates, posted photos of employee of the quarter, and the naming of one staff member to serve on a rotating basis as the caring, respectful, and compassionate ambassador. Despite the CSC being still quite new, lessons for program improvement are beginning to emerge. Some key lessons include the need to adjust the proposed CSC indicators to include cleanliness and safety of health facilities. The need to develop a self-training video to reduce the cost of future staff training. And the need to involve partners earlier to expedite scale up and learning. In conclusion, the Ministry of Health is keen to continue to scale up the Community Scorecard experience in all of its rural regions in the country. The Ministry of Health plans to accelerate scale up in the three other populous regions of the country. 
and reach another 600 communities by the end of 2019. The ministry plans to initiate pilot activities in the remaining five rural regions and to modify the approach for pastoralist areas. And finally, the Ministry of Health is committed to continuing to learn, document, and generate knowledge on sustainable citizen feedback and social accountability processes in the health sector.